Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Big event coming up on Wednesday. Fisker, if the news is bad, it could be over for Fisker. I'm going to explain what I mean. We are down 12% today. Um, as you can see, this is live. We said the bounce was 15 cents. We've been right four times. You could have made 50% four times on, on this stock. Uh, I've reported it. Sensei Crypto has reported it. It does it. It's done it four times. Anyway, but Wednesday is what it's all about. Plus this news. This is why it's down and why it's going to stay down and why why on Wednesday it could be all over for Fisk. i got to give you the truth. I'm not trying to sell the video. I'm not trying to pump my own position. I don't, I don't own any position. I only own the S&P. So, you know, I'm just telling you as it is. I hate, I hate reporting bad news, but we report the news. The news is what helps you make informed decision, not some YouTuber trying to, you know, give you, a, give you some exciting news to make money for the video. I don't care about that. So here is what's caused the problem, but this is only half the picture. The main reason is for this event on Wednesday. Let me explain. First of all, just a few moments ago, literally a few moments ago, Fisker, this is the announcement just come out. Fisker pauses production with just 121 million in the bank, right? So let's discuss it and let me explain it in detail. EV startup Fisker is pausing production of its EVs, uh, electric, electric Ocean SUV for six weeks as it scrambles for a cash infusion. Now, I've reported uh, some similar news here on a previous uh, e uh, video, but it's what comes next is what's important. So stick with me a moment. The company said in a, morning, in, in a Monday morning regulatory filing that it is just $121 million in cash and cash equivalents as of March 15th, 32 million of which is restricted or not immediately accessible. Ouch. So this is not a lot of money at all. Burn through this in five minutes. Fisker also said Monday that its accounts payable balance is up to 182 million and there is a substantial doubt that it can continue operations without raising new capital after saying in February that it was likely to issue such a warning. Okay, now stick with me. You, you might know some of this, but what's important is what comes next. The filing comes at a troubling moment for the startup, which went public in 2020 when it merged with the special purpose acquisition company, SPAC. Fisker started shipping the S Ocean SUV in the US and Europe in the middle of 2023, but the rollout has been played by problematic software and lackluster customer service, as TechCrunch recently reported. The National Highway Traffic Inst uh, Safety Administration is investigating the ocean uh, for rollaway problems and issues with the banking system, the braking system, I apologize. Fisker announced in February it was laying off 15% of its staff or around 200 people. Fisker finished 2023 having shipped roughly 5,000 of the 10,000 cars that its contracted this contract manufacturing partner Magna Steyr produced. The company said on Monday that it delivered 1,300 vehicles in January and February. It's currently trying to pivot away from a direct sales model in favor of a dealer partnership uh, partnerships through at least one of the first uh, dozen or so early dealer partners. Uh, partners has already walked away from the startup. The Wall Street Journal reported that um, that last week that it was uh, hired that they had hired. Oh, thank you, Sana DAW. Hello, Sana DAW has become a member. Thank you very much. And it's hired reconstructing uh, advisors to evaluate a potential bankruptcy. Now, all of this, you know, all of this, you know, I don't think there's anything that you don't know here. But what I'm going to come to is the last part here uh, and then talk about Wednesday. This is what it's all about. At the same time, Fisker announced that it, that it is, is late in filing its annual results for 2023, including the missing uh, the 15-day extension period from the SEC that expired March 
15th, a couple of days ago, that has triggered a default in one of the company's other convertible notes. While Fiskus says the investor behind those notes has waived the default, the investor can still convert the amount remaining on the note, which as of late January was more than 300 million into shares. Okay, we got all that. Now then, some of that you knew, some of that you didn't know, that's just come out. What's important is this, and why I've said the stock would go down today and then bounce around the 15 cents. That's what I believe, and I've been right four times already, so maybe I'll be right again. Is this event on Wednesday? This event on Wednesday, we're going to cover it live on the show, of course. If you click on the homepage of the channel, you'll find it, and uh, you can uh, join us live for this. You, you absolutely need to be watching this live, because every word that comes out of Jerome Powell's mouth will affect Fisker. It will affect Virgin Galactic. It will affect um, any company, uh, Nikola, for example, any company that is highly... Um, Highly speculative right now, lots of debt, because this is what's going to happen on Wednesday. I've been right on this now for nearly 16 months, 17 months, long time ago now. Uh, I predicted that we were in a bull market. We were in a bull market. Six months later, or was it three months later, I think it was, Bank of America finally said we're in a, we're in a bull market. Banks don't like to take risk. They're just, they, they wait until it's obvious to say it. I mean, you know not hard to do that, right? But I, I, it was clear to me we were, we were in a bull market. We've been in a bull market now uh, ever since. My portfolio is up all-time highs today and um, been up now for nearly a year. However, it's been going up because people keep pricing in rate cuts. We're not going to get a rate cut more and more people are now realizing we're not going to get a rate cut. So um, the S&P does have some issues there. It could drop on Wednesday. I hope it does. I've got $100,000 waiting to buy a 10% drop. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, whatever. But the point is this. On Wednesday, it's not what Jerome Powell announces at the rate, the, the, what the rate's going to be. It's what he says at the conference at the end. Why you want to be watching the show? Because what will happen is if we get, a rate hike, which is always possible. My prediction is, tap the like button, otherwise you won't hear it. If you tap the like button, if you hit the subscribe button, my prediction is, and I'm, I'm like 100% certain on this, if we get a rate hike, this is my prediction. I look into my crystal ball, sadly, It'll be over for Fisker if we get a rate hike. And you will get that live on the show. We'll cover it live. But then what's important, and you, and you might react then, you might react and go, I'm selling or I'm buying or whatever you're going to do. It's then what he says at the, uh, uh, at the conference at the end. And he won't tell you, he won't say, we're going to give you a rate hike, but next month in June, we're going we're gonna to drop the rates. It's in between the lines. And I've been covering this now for uh, nearly three years, and you can read between the lines what it actually means. And they're not going to tell you what they're going to do, but you can sense what they're going to do, right? If we get a rate hike... It's all over for Fisker. It's probably all over for Nikola and Virgin Galactic will drop. Other stocks that borrow money will really get massively impacted because they've all kind of priced in uh, a rate cut. Rate pause is still they wanted a rate a rate cut, but we have slowed down a little bit since then and gone a bit sideways on these stocks. So maybe we'll you know a rate uh, pause is okay, but a rate hike is all over. We're not going to get a rate cut. That isn't going to happen. But it's what they say at the end of the meeting, what's going to happen next. So that's what we're going to listen in for. Now, this might present massive scalp trading opportunities. It's presented it four times already. But between now and Wednesday, it's too risky to do anything. If you are total a perma bull and you think Fisker's the greatest stock in the world and it has to go up, it can't help but go up, then fine. If that's what you believe, then fine. Buy it at 15. This is the right entry point. We, we've identified this now four times. That's if you absolutely 100% believe it can't fail. Well, it's 90% likely it's going to fail, but there's always that 10% chance, right? I mean, that's, that's the game of investing, right? Or more gambling in this particular case. Um, so maybe you do that. But what I would be doing 
uh, is I'd be waiting and I'd be waiting with my finger on the buy or my finger on the sell with my limit order place. Don't, for God's sake, do a buy or just a buy order, a sell order. Uh, just buy it, you know, the, just by clicking the buy button. You have to put a limit order in there. Otherwise, you'll it'll bounce around so much, you'll always get the worst deal. I would have my finger on the button on Wednesday. And um, if we get a rate pause or a cut, with indication that it's going to come down in June, I'd buy. If you are a believer in Fisker, obviously, you have to still be a believer in the business. If, however, it's a rate cut, sorry, a rate hike, I'm out of there. I'm out of there because it's going to zero. I'd rather get 15 cents than zero cents. So that's my thoughts on Fisker. There you go. It's going to be extremely difficult and extremely volatile so you need to know exactly what your belief is before Wednesday, 12.30 Central Time. Join us live. Click above my head, down below in the description. I'll put the event over here. Join us. Uh, the extra channel is running down here. So we're live nearly 24 hours a day now. So you can talk to everybody and keep updated and predict and get support and all that kind of stuff. Over here and over here. Join us. You can't miss it. That's my thoughts on Fisker. Are you ready? Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other.